What was the intro again? I, I don't worry, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you asked because I know I, I got it, I got it down pat. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Jack Off Lows. Every time this guy tries to interrupt my flaming intro. That's that's the intro. <sighs> Welcome guys back to the Average Blokes ep- podcast where we here on this show prove that we're above average. And to do that with me today is Troy. How are you going, Troy? Welcome. Yes, that's that's what we mean the better way to do it. But anyway, it's time to stop. Oh, yes. I was trying to I was trying to do the meme where he's like, "Welcome." I just oh, I should have gotten out of the room, sat down on the chair like this, and go. This rookie, absolute Welcome. amateur, absolute amateur. <laughs> Can't even. Hey, I think the thing's on the flash. Yeah. So anyway, if you're listening, watching, uh... sit down, relax, get your cup of water, have a sip. Maybe I should get coin and make me some tea. And and have a tea. Get your partner to make you a tea. Have, tea. have some Yorkshire. Mm. So anyway, uh, how have you been, Troy? I've been good. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to make you big again. Ooh. There we go. There's... No, I just went full screen. Oh, well, that's a shame. <laughs> uh, pretty good. Work was fun. I, uh, uh, My mate Christian has, uh, is doing a few jobs for our company, which is nice. So yeah, you... I get to work with him again. Is that why you hang up on me? That is why I hang oh, okay. up on Okay, fair now, enough. And now, how do I... How do I put us next to each other again? Uh, you double tap. Double click the window somewhere. Double click on the Discord thing. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. I had a then, uh, I had a fun day today. Yeah. I had to drive an hour and a half to the city. Ooh, fun. Yeah, traffic was not fun. Why but did... anyway, I'm not going to have to go back there anytime did... soon. Why did you have to do that? It was a job in the Royal Children's Hospital. So, oh, okay. Yeah, and that's in Parkville, which is on the west side of the city, inner, inner west. But yeah, the traffic was not fun. Just, but anyway. just looking for a background. There we go. <laughs> He's got to get that. Oh, there we go. Here we got the good one. <laughs> got to get that Discord um, blur background. Oh, I forgot. Oh, i got to save it. Hold on. <laughs> yes. Anyway, this is a perfect, this is a perfect, um, if you if you finish talking about life, yeah, sure. would you like to continue? Mm-hmm. This is a perfect way of going into our little topic for today. Ooh. Since our topic will be technology yes which i'm current which i'm currently struggling with discord which is <laughs> you know it's, it's a fancy fa- that fan dangle communication system what is a discord discord do you put it in your cd player <laughs> uh, there we go well you know From, it's funny that you say that because um, discord as a word itself actually means something my discord yeah it means talk it means well yeah it uh, means disagreement <laughs> between people no, that's not what it means. It's what it means more debate. If you literally use technology to ask Google to define what Discord means, it says disagreement between I'm, people, lack of harmony I'm between just, notes surrounding sounding together, and I literally I'm googling it right now. So just, if you Google define Discord, I, I searched term, but it came up with terms and services. Of course, you got to get that. <laughs> if, uh, define, and then it comes up with define the terms and services. Oh gosh. Here we go. Definitions, synonyms. It's funny that you brought. Up, it's funny that you brought up Discord first thing because um, probably about two or three hours before this podcast went recording, uh, apparently Discord like, went, Discord would... went down. Oh wow! Apparently. Really? But when did this happen? I don't know, but apparently there's oh. something that uh, something that's essential to Discord and a bunch of other programs. That's um, Cloudflare. Apparently Cloudflare runs like a whole bunch of. Web major Cloud websites, Flair. and par- I've only known Cloudflare, Cloudflare for downloading free games illegally. Um, Cloudflare said on Tuesday it resolved a widespread outage earlier in the day that affected large number of services, including FTX, whether that is Discord, and a few other programs. Uh, yeah, it's aff- it's going to aff- it's going to affect my FPS. <laughs> That's no good. Oh, so I don't know what that fan daggled FPS does, but I know it's not good. So, it, so <laughs> Cloudflare look after FTX, Discord, Amigle, uh, Amigle, <laughs> DoorDash, Amigle. Crunchyroll, NordVPN, and Feedly. Oh. Oh no, not country roll. How do I get the dogs? How do, how do I get the how animes? Do get the how do I get my animes? How, how, what is them <laughs> animes? <laughs> every time I do that, I put on an accent. Oh yeah, fair but, um, Every time I do an old man accent, it's it's not it's not Australia. Yeah, what the heck is a bloody anime? It's, I, I gotta I gotta do the American. I want them animes. <laughs> Uh, uh, back, back to the Discord thing though. It says lack of agreement among persons, groups, and things. Which is kind Tension of tension or strife resulting from lack of agreement. A confused or harsh sound of mingling or mingling of sound. 
Oh, you use Google Duck, or don't you? So I was, I was right. It was a discussion. You use Google Duck, though. You don't use Google, do you? Of course, I use Duck, Duck, Go. Duck, Duck, Go. I don't even. want people know. I, I, don't know what pe- I don't want people to know my location, <laughs> even though I use Google when I want to find a restaurant near me. Or oh, use Google Maps. <laughs> I, I literally, I got to I got to type in like restaurant near me, and Duck, Duck, Go goes. Oh, there's a restaurant in Melbourne. <laughs> yeah, I'll drive all the way out to Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. It's not too far a drive, but it's further than I planned, that's for sure. So, technology has come a long, 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 long way. Um, we started off with technology being like, in 1999, they were worried that when it became 2000, that the robots and all the computers would come alive and take over the world. That obviously um, never happened. No, in, no, in 2000, they had, um, oh, what was the event called? It was a big uh, Y2K. Yeah, Y2K. It was Y2K. They didn't think they didn't think the Terminator was coming. <laughs> they thought all the computers were just going to stop once they ticked over. Yeah, um, and I remember seeing some of the pictures of the early computers, oh, the, and literally they used to oh, be this the big. The early computers were like these massive. Uh, how do I put it? Big electrical equipment in a whole room, and that was considered to be a computer. Um, uh-huh. And also, like I remember my mum telling me when she was at school. Computers were, sort of, wrong. computers were just coming That's in. Wrong again, Jackson. Well, go, well, go on. Courtney, Courtney's wearing. Courtney's currently wearing one of the first computers. It's a watch. Oh, watch. Good point. Yeah, you got to think. You got to think all the way back. Yeah. Technically, the first computer was the invention of fire. Well, <laughs> all right. Yeah, talk- <laughs> Let's talk about electronic. <laughs> uh, computer. So yeah. <laughs> what invented fire, Jackson? <laughs> You telling me man figured that shit? Man out? build fire. No, I, man build no, fire. No, no. No, God, God send lightning down to strike, create fire for man. Yes. The God sent down power to us. Not man rub two sticks together. No, clearly not. I'd actually really like to know whether it actually was from, um, from like, for, like electrical fires, how they figured it out, mm. or if it was actually the rubbing of sticks. Yeah, I don't know. Um... But as I was saying, so my mum, when she was at school, she said when their school, when their schools got computers, start. when their school got computers, apparently they, when bad. they were using calculators, they had to put the inputs in and then they'd send it off. Apparently there was a signal that got sent to somewhere in Adelaide. I don't know if she was making this up, but this is what she told me and I entirely don't really believe her, but apparently they sent the signal for like using calculators on a computer. They'd have to wait for the signal to come back from Adelaide to get the result on the screen apparently that's what happened wait, I, wait was, when was the, what this was this for when this was this? when so my mum was in high school when your mum was in high so school so 1985 probably so in 1985 when they wanted to get the calculator to work mm, they, they they'd send a signal yeah to somewhere and later I don't know how it worked to be honest I don't know that's what she told me but I'm I don't think it's sure, true did they even have dial up back then I don't know probably not Satellite dishes. Yeah, well... So it would be normal right, satellite right, dishes. Yeah, I don't... Well, they wouldn't have had satellite dishes, but I'm pretty sure, like... Oh. Ugh, I don't know, actually, now that I think about it. That's before... Our but time. anyway, yeah, so, like, going from those days of when, you know, the first electronic computer turned... Now, in schools, even, every student has an iPad or a laptop or something, which is... That's that fan dangled technology. Which is annoying, because, technology. you know, as soon as you leave school, all the schools become better and everything with their technology. And it's like, oh, I missed out on all these things. Mm, true, true, true. But we had, we had the... Because um, we I remember in my year 11, year 12, we had the smart boards. The closure of smart boards came in. And for those who don't know what smart boards are, oh. that's essentially the whiteboards, and they, they have touchscreen on it. There's a projector that there's a, in the classroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, well, that was when I went to my high school, when I went to the open day, they... Um... They, they showed off the touch boards. Do you know how much we used it? Not much. In year seven? <laughs> I don't th- I think we used it twice. Because the, the teacher's on the computer and she's sitting there going, and it's just, oh, no, it's just, what? what, what, what oh, why is it doing that? I'm going to call the tech guys and oh. I'll, just get the, I'll just get the whiteboard marker. Oh, that's funny. I remember, I remember one of our, it wasn't the first day, but the first week of high school, or the third week, I'm pretty sure it was. The teacher grabbed a whiteboard marker to use that, and she didn't realise that it was a... Permanent? Permanent marker, yep. (laughs) And she she started writing, and then she went... (laughs) Yeah. And I was like, oh, no. I'm pretty sure they banned permanent markers from our school as soon as the smart boards were a thing. (laughs) Uh Because, yeah, that was going to happen very, very often. But, um, 
Because they, yeah. they had just introduced those. Too. Mm, yeah, true. So technology has come a long way, like we just said. Uh, it's It's gotten to a point where there's technology for everything that to aid us as human beings in the world. So like the the, the most fangled dangle thing I've got in my house, I consider it a fangled dangle, is our robot vacuum cleaner. Now Get the doohickey. Ra- ra- robot vacuum cleaners... Is, the Roomba, Jackson. Uh, it's a Roomba. Roomba, sorry, yes. Yeah. So I've got I one. Mean, oh, here's... Here's a quick question yeah, for go you, on. right? So, it's called, they're called Roombas, right? Yes. But that's the brand, right? I was talking to Courtney yes. about this the other day. Yes. And it's called Tupperware, right? The plastic container. Yes, but you call them, yes. In. But the brand is Tupperware. Yes. So, is it called a Roomba? Or is it called a, like, vacuum Robot, robot? vacuum. It's called a robot vacuum cleaner. Oh, the brand. I, I, I feel like as Australians, we just like to nickname everything, like give everything a proper name. So, like, we just call I it. think just... I th- I think just the first thing, first version of something that comes out, that's what it's yeah, called. Yeah, basically. Well, the thing is, though, Tupperware containers, like plastic containers, have been a thing, but it wasn't until Tupperware mm. came along they were. See, like... you said, so you said Tupperware containers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. As soon as you have a brand branding thing to something, a certain thing, it immediately becomes that. So, like, oh, you got some Tupperware containers? You mean just any plastic containers <laughs> yes. yeah I said, I said to Courtney oh you bought some Tupperware and she's like that's not it's not Tupperware I bought it from the $2 <laughs> I don't see the brand name on it but uh... <laughs> yeah, true anyway technology is changing all around us every yeah. day constantly. so technology is meant to be making next? our lives easier day to day and yes to a degree yes it is there's just some first world problem issues I have with this vacuum cleaner right so I left my the ro the robot vacuum cleaner in my room and Good I've got thing you don't have a, I've got a power a I've got dog. I've got a power board on top of the bedside table and then there's a lamp which doesn't touch the ground but then there's the iPhone charger cable and then there's another cable for my work phone um, I had the iPhone cable dangling down and um, so the robot vacuum <laughs> somehow managed to get it and it managed to suck up the cable off the um, the, the charger. So it was it was still fine though it was still fine so it kept vacuuming and then it got stuck it got stuck on a pedestal leg of a fan like you know pedestal fans they got the legs on the bottom the four legs yeah they they can get stuck yeah yeah and 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 it's like it's it's started crying you're like beep 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 I'm like oh what's going on you're like oh I already got to deal with I already got to deal with one baby I got to deal with another. And basically, that's all I was thinking. I'm like, oh, this thing's like a baby. It's like stuck on a leg, which it could have easily probably <laughs> moved away or avoided in the first place. I, I, but I then know what that, you mean. That... My, my washing machine won't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's easy to turn it off, though. But yeah. Um, so yeah, when I found Ooh. it, I found the cord wrapped around inside the the spinny thing where it sucks up all the dirt and stuff. Um, still works, of course, still works. But yeah, it's just like. That was it. Was complaining about that. It was complaining about the fact that it's like, oh, I'm stuck on this little ledge of the fan. I can't move. Well, help! Well, help! Well, help! <laughs> well, that's because it. it that's because it already ate your cord. It already ate your charging cord. It did yeah. the dog's job for it. <laughs> exactly. Okay, you don't have a pet. You've got a Roomba. Yeah, and we've got a daughter <laughs> who likes to chase the Roomba. It's so funny though, because yeah. like anything oh, that has bright so lights, just sitting, anything sit, that has lights just on sitting, it, sitting, sitting on top of it like this. Yeah. Like, funny enough, she actually has just tried of, sitting on it's it. It's just yeah. going back and forth with her on it. Like, <laughs> and it's weird too because it's so loud that she doesn't get afraid of it. Like she, as soon as it moves past it, she's like, oh, "I must chase it." <laughs> just her, what, her eyes wide open, just watching it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, also Letitia, my wife, has a Google Home Mini, which she uses mainly just for certain playlists. Wait, you've so like, she she have a Spotify playlist. You've got one of those. And then oh obviously, my because she's got premium, she gets the ads every so often. So hey, Google. <laughs> <laughs> um, Instead of hey, Kool Aid. It was pretty I good. If someone's made it was a good price though. It was a good price. I bought it for her as a I can't remember if it was a yeah, Christmas yeah, a present. 60, but, 60, yeah, it was, yeah, sixty bucks is pretty good. Yeah. And then was it sixty bucks. Yeah, probably. It was, it was from JB Hi-Fi. It was a pretty good deal at the time. Um, yeah, we got a new Chromecast from JB. Yeah. Also, another thing we got for our house, which I'm currently using, but it's not in. It's using its effect. I have a smart globe here. Um, there's now the thing is with the smart. Oh, you, yeah, sure. You, yeah, sure. You got a smart globe. Yeah. I got a smart globe. Oh, you got a real smart globe. Your 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 smart yeah, globe big eye break, big IQ even. Oh yeah, you turn it on, it starts beeping because it's in Bluetooth mode because it's been turned <laughs> on and off too quickly. <laughs> so anything smart these days is all Bluetooth, and you need an app to run it. So 
Anything smart yeah. these days is dumb. That's true. Remember how we were speaking about the Amazon dumbbells last Jackson, time? Jackson, you are the smartest was. guy I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the dumbbell. Yeah, well, yeah, well, no, that wasn't actually a thing. We were talking about something else, and I said, oh, yeah, we, we have a dumbbell yeah. that tells you how many reps. <laughs> yeah. And it's got, like, the Google voice, the, the chick, except, the, um, chick, except she's telling Alexa. you to do more reps. Yeah, Alexa, <laughs> do more. Oh, I can't do the voice. That's Hello, fair. Jackson. You need to do two more reps. No, I can't do any more. Perform Alexa. Two, two more reps. More reps. Two more you reps. weakling, you piece of piss, you can't do two more reps. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, though, people have modded Alexia's, Alexa's voice and, you know, they make it sound like an absolute demon or, you know, heaven's <laughs> voice angel, whatever. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it's, like with technology, there's always its ups and downs. Like, things that have exposures where you can hack into things. And that's the thing with all these smart globes and smart things, because it's only Bluetooth. I'm sure it is, mm. it is easy hackable. Like you just need an easy password or what? forget what to put is, a password yeah, on. There's, there's, and, yeah, don't you know what they can do with Wi-Fi now? Yeah, basically, so, basically. So yeah. I watched I watched a video earlier. Wi-Fi can track where you like. I don't know how it works, but using Wi-Fi on a camera, it can track your location mm. through walls. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit sus. <laughs> like like legit. I saw a video and it showed the guy walk around the corner into a house behind a window as he walked. Because there was a little window in the wall. As he walked past the window behind the wall, you see the little stick man figure pop up showing where he is mm-hmm. and even showing him turning around and walking back. Yeah. Which is... Because uh, when you think about it, like, it's location-based. So if it, can, if it gets a 3D perception of where you are, mm-hmm. it can figure out your exact location. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, too, because, like, technology has been used by the government and everything, and, like, the whole Big Brother thing, like, oh, everyone, they're, Not they're watching you. They are. See that camera up there? They're watching you. Oh, that person over there, they've probably got a camera on them. They're watching you. <laughs> yeah. Except, fortunately, it's not our government doing much of it. Yeah. Well, that's, like... I mean, they yeah. are doing it, but only to so. Yeah, you've played Watch Dogs, haven't you? No, you haven't played Watch Dogs yet? Oh, I thought you. I know, but I know the concept with the phone yeah. and flicking and turning off and on traffic lights yeah. and all yeah. that stuff. There's going to be some part in the near future where that basically is going to unfold, where everything and everyone's information is can be hacked and everyone will be found out. It's already like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I was talking a, a guy I used to work with, like ye, like when I was a concreter. He uh, he was telling me about how basically their generation fought tooth and nail to make sure that everything was kept private and they kept their privacy. And then as soon as our generation came along, or rather the, I guess... Gen, gen Z. Gen, no, not Gen Z, Gen uh, Gen X came along. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, um, they instantly, like, basically just handed it all over because that's when Facebook and everything popped up. Mm, and, um, yeah. Just every every connection. The, the online... The internet itself, Contimity. basically, as soon, as soon as as soon as we got past dial-up, it was just basically even during dial-up, mm. just basically you could communicate with anyone anywhere, and your information was just you would send it to your friend. For those who don't know send what the dial-up sound family. was, I'm going to play it here. Oh, have you got it? This is an edit. This is a cue edit for the whack Jackson in the in the post edit. Can you please put the dial-up hey, sound? Thank you. Hey, future Jackson. <laughs> I, he'll, he'll go back and go like, oh, why did you want this in it? I'm like, past <laughs> Jackson is better than you. <laughs> Always. You need to put in like a, a little tiny edited version of yourself so you can go, hey Jackson, you pop in through the killer. <laughs> Your head pops in. <laughs> All right, here it is. <laughs> Just take a screenshot of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm going to touch on <laughs> some other things eventually. But is there anything else you want to discuss about technology and? how it's changed or helped your life or whatever oh oh, i could go on for ages i was thinking just while you were talking i was thinking about the one thing that's driving me insane at the moment with new technology is uh, new cars because um just having to having a concert for example my my work van right it's got a uh, it's got the um cruise control button ah. you can oh her face is popping in. <laughs> yeah no worries i'll talk for a little while so the van's got the cruise control button you click it in and you go right so you click on you start uh, at the speed you're at it locks that in and then uh, you can click another button to turn it off and then you click it again to turn it on my missus's car right it does the same thing except it's got a separate on and off button to the actual so you've got a button to turn it on then a button to turn it off or to make it or, or and to turn it back on again but the button that originally turns it on 
doesn't turn it off. So it basically Courtney's car, basically Courtney's car for the cruise control, right? Yes. It's got a button that turns it on, and then a button that pauses it and starts it up again. But the button that turns it on doesn't turn it back on. Oh. Uh. So, so for example, I'm doing sixty kilometers an hour. I push this button in. I do sixty kilometers an hour, and I can take my foot off. Mm-hmm. I break right. Yep. If I push that button again, the button to turn it on, it'll reset to the current speed. Oh, oh, okay. So it it'll go back up. It won't lock in the new speed. That's okay. Yeah. And and it's and here's the funny thing: to pause it, there's a separate button that you push. Yeah. It's it's well with my work van, it's the opposite. It's just one button that does it all. Well, to be fair, wait. So your car, your work car, is a Volkswagen. That's Wagen. And hers is that's, a Volvo? That's, that's Wagen. No, what's, that's a Wagen. What's... That's a Wagen. Volkswagen. It's your... It's it's Courtney's a, car also Courtney's a car is a Kia. It's a Kia. Oh, it's a Kia. I should right. not have banged it. But, so, yeah. Korean... No. Kia is... I don't know what Kia is. Korean, yes. I it believe is it is Korean. It's South Korean, yes. And then Korean and then... Or maybe it's North German. Korean. German. <laughs> yeah, slightly different. <laughs> mm. yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you should... The worst, the worst part for me is they both got... Because it's... European car versus Korean car. Asian car, yeah. Or, or, or Asian car, but it's designed for Australia, is the indicator's on the left side for mine. Oh, it's on the right side for Courtney's. Oh, so it, as soon as I switch to one car, the first thing i got to do when I'm pulling out the driveway is just flick one of them to figure out which one's which. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll, so as soon as I get into Courtney's car, I pull out the driveway, I indicate my wipers come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't... I've been lucky because all my cars that I've had and driven are all been Asian cars like Toyota, Mazda, and a Hyundai for a bit. And they well, I got used. Yeah, all have the same. I got used okay. to it because I got used to it because we used to have my Camry and then Courtney had the, uh, the Volvo. Mm. So we've reversed cars. Now she's got the uh, she's got the Asian car and I've got the European car. Mm. One thing I will say about cars and their technology is actually car play is very nice. I find like oh yes, Courtney Courtney's car. Honestly, it's weird because Courtney's got the Android Android Auto, right? Yeah, and it's horrible. I hate it. It's so bad. Well, well, it's my my. The Volvo has just got because it's an older model. It's just got the Bluetooth. Oh, okay. And the touch and the touch screen. Yeah. And it's perfect. The touch screen is built in. It's not sticking halfway out. Yep. Like most of the new ones, you don't have to. I'm surprised people don't have accidents trying to figure out how to use the app. Like you got to reach over, you got to click this, click that, click that. Well, it's with mine, I can I can just click, click, done. Playing music. Yeah. No, it's does Cornish have sat nav included or is it not? No sat nav. Uh no, it's not. It uses the Google Map. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, Google Maps yeah. like it's so much like everyone's got a GPS now these days. Um, I use I use my GPS for Google Maps. I'm mean, sorry, I use my phone for Google Maps on CarPlay, but like mm. half the time I already know where I'm going. But I, I just like to know the distance and um, time I have yeah, to take to get there. So like that's fair enough. Google Maps has really helped me a lot. Like I use it constantly on a daily basis. Oh, um, but like the, you know the bad thing though. What's that? The bad thing about that is that. Um, so there's a particular part of your brain that um, it's 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 basically your sense of direction mm. part of your brain. Yep. They find that people who are taxi drivers who don't really use maps and stuff like that, that part of their brain is actually like not bigger but more. Uh, there's more neural more connections. More developed is that? What the more point? developed is the best way. Yeah. yeah. More neural connections. So so and they're actually better at finding their way around yep. than people who use Google Google Maps. And it even shows the difference between current cab drivers or current uber drivers versus old uber drivers or old taxi drivers. wow you're right i reckon so I... you do you do lose a little something when you because you're because you know 20 years ago like people were using maps mm. people were using their like we still <laughs> get the, we, the big book <laughs> turn yeah, to page 62 still... all right from if, if you're here turn to page 70 okay turn page 80 scroll down <laughs> The, Scroll down. The old Melways. Like that uh, we want, want B6. We want B6 and, yeah, Melways. Yeah. For Melbourne, it's Melways. Is it called Adelaide's? Oh, Adelaide? I couldn't tell you. Uh, Adelaide's. Because I, prob- I know they're called, I know they're called Sidways. <laughs> probably then. It's, it's literally S-Y-N-Way. It's probably Adelway, I'd say, if it's anything. Adelway. Let me have a look. Where do you live? I live in Adelway. Um, I no. love Adelaide. I, uh, okay, Melways. Okay, so there's no. That's not SA. 
SA roadmap book. SA roadmap book. Mm, mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to say anything. You're telling the story, not me. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Anyway, Melway came I'm up though. Just... First thing. <laughs> Melway came up. Melway. Um, Melways. Yeah, so we still got one. In yeah, the car, but I don't think we use it. Ian and Andrew have. Use it. I think they ever got one. I remember my dad having one in his old. You should all. You should always have one. Just in yeah. case. like literally, literally is one thing where it's like if there was somehow a zombie apocalypse or something like that, mm. or just society broke down. Yeah, and like the internet went down, and you couldn't. You'd want to know. You'd want a map at least. Mm. Like bare minimum is a map. Well, that's why GPSs are still kind of handy, even though everyone's got a smartphone these days, and you can have a map application on there. Um, smartphones are good for that, but GPSs also as a backup are kind of handy. The only problem is with GPSs is you have to manually upgrade, update them. Like because obviously the over time, places change, new roads are uh, built, mm -hmm. stuff like that, and yeah, sometimes oh, yeah. maps aren't uh, the I, GPS I is unupdated. Tool. For, for my work because i'm always working in new estates i don't even use i have to use the government map yeah yeah because the, that, that map has that map has uh houses and um and estates that don't even exist yet on yeah and it's the same thing and with our friend lachlan he he has a there's a certain map that you have to they have to pay to use and it gives you the latest satellite oh, imagery I, of certain areas. oh i don't i don't I don't pay to use. No, it. no, no, no. That's right. But I'm just saying, like, like technology is advanced in this way that you get up to date imagery. Like, it's not available to the public per se, but like, there's maps up there that if you want instant uh, data about what areas are looking like, then mm. yeah, there's a there's a program for that. But yeah, you have to pay for that it's, kind of stuff because it's, it's premium. But... It's it's funny because even though I go to like basically four times as many jobs as I used, because I used to just go to one job every single day for three days yep. it was quite funny because like i'd ask my boss where the next job is and he'd go so you know this road and i'm like um yeah yeah you gotta you gotta if you go down to here where it meets this one there's this little turn off there and if you go down there and you gotta go, and it's just the corner there and i'm just like oh it's like just and i i literally asked him he said he was such a lazy bastard that he couldn't just pull out the thing and say this street this lot this suburb mm -hmm. he'd always like it'd always be this a journey mm. yeah. fortunately he had a big a big truck with a red cad caddy oh. so it'd be easy to or red red big red cad mm -hmm. so his truck was easy to find yeah okay yeah and now we've got to the point of ai now and where there's programs and there's bots being made current like late recently i should say and have we yeah there's well gotten to the i'm point looking at infokit which is the link I sent you. Um, many people have known oh, about yes. it now for a little while now, thanks to some uh, uh, YouTubers, like as Mike Plyer, for example, and a few yes. others who have discussed about Bill it. Bill um, Jackson, get more subscribers. What are you Googling? Sorry. Hold on. What are you duck, duck going? Subscribers. That sounds weird to say. What are you duck, duck going? Bill Jackson, get more subscribers. We're going to go length 500 and generate text. Oh, you read... Okay, yeah, I see what you From doing. Maryland, he was the only... <laughs> Will Jackson get more subscribers? From Maryland, he was the only... Ab he was only able to gain 10... <laughs> yes! 10 then. 10. Will Jackson now Better have a none. better chance at... Will Jackson have... Now have a better chance at winning Jackson will get more subscribers from Maryland. <laughs> he was only able to gain 10 then. It's repeated itself. Okay, no, no. Well, I'm glad you already also, started. Also, is that it a hat, Jake? Before the no, it's, it repeated itself. Before the show started, also, I went ahead and used InfoKit to give me a thousand, me a thousand me word me character uh, story, right? So I've got here with me, <laughs> I've got three stories. <laughs> what is the wearing tool? Sorry, continue. Oh, that's okay, because you're you enjoying reading that one. But um, I am recording it. It's, it's just, it repeated itself again and then said something okay. else. Okay, so... It's gotten worse. I did three stories before recording, and one of them is oh, very, very, very questionable, and I don't know how because, I feel about it. Oh, Jackson, you should have seen what I did with Courtney. I don't want to know. I think so I do. I, I don't. Do I? So no. <laughs> I went as, as, as he grabbed <laughs> her... Side. Hey. I said something along those lines, and I went generate. And then, as he grabbed her side, hold it there, sexy. Oh. <laughs> he said as he looked. <laughs> as he looked. I love this. So, as he grabbed, I, I wrote, as he grabbed to her side, hold it there, sexy. He said as he looked 
to him <laughs> with serious expression. As he looked to him, her hands slipped down to her. So it's already gotten confused and written. It's already written him instead of her. Yeah, Dory, this happens. Uh, kind of happens in these She's, ones that I've done already. I can't move that much, let alone let you pull my pants down. Oh gosh. Oh, um, all right, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read these three auto-generated stories from Infocit. Oh. So pull up a chair, grab a cup of coffee or whatever, sit up, have a blanket, sit by the fire, as I read you three stories written by Infocit, the website. Here we go. So this is story number one. So the prompt for these, this, these, these two of these, were there were two average blokes called Jackson and Troy. Oh my goodness. They were not That's related to each other. That This is true. We're not related to each other. Not really. Through marriage, maybe. But yeah, yeah. True. They were both in their early 20s, nearly, and lived in a small town in the south of England. Apparently, with British, Troy. <laughs> when, did the, wait, when did the thing pop in? When did it start generating? Uh, after after I said the two what blokes called Jackson and Troy. Oh, so okay. after the first sentence it generated was, they were not related to each other. So it's it's on a good start. Off to a good start. They were both in their early 20s. Oh, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly at 30. As he, as he grabbed onto her. <laughs> and they lived in a small town in the south of England. So we're British, okay? Jolly good there, governor. This is where it gets, this is, this is where it gets, this is where it gets hilarious and unrealistic. Ja- Jackson was the quiet one. The one Jackson who was always was studying one. and working. Jack is, Jackson was the quiet I was the oh, quiet I say, one. Jack- Oh, so it's like, oh, boy. This is where it's yeah, accurate. Quiet, Troy was the loud one and who was always getting oh, into yes. trouble. <laughs> wow, that is actually relatively accurate. <laughs> he, was, he was a cheeky lad. Yeah, the old boy there, he's, he's a cheeky bugger. He is, well, that's, yes. He was Don't a cheeky lad who would not have thought twice about breaking a window or pushing a shopkeeper down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it was very funny and very that's unpredictable. Really Spot on so far. Jackson and Troy were good friends, but their relationship was very strained. <laughs> Troy was always getting Jackson into trouble, and Jackson always seemed to have the same answer when asked what happened. Jackson never had the heart to tell Troy that his story never changed. Jackson and Troy were both living in a flat in town. They both worked in the same supermarket. Jackson worked in the back of the shop, and Troy worked on the front. They had, Did you change any of the settings on this? Uh, yeah, I, I changed so one or two. Changed to rambling, and then it just ends to saying they had both been working there for a while, and that was the first story. <laughs> so uh, pretty good. I've got a news. Pretty good. Pretty good. I've, what do you, I, I find it funny that actually, even though it doesn't know who we are, it just made up a story about us. And <laughs> some parts, were, I heard some parts were not. But. I'm gonna stop this. Okay, uh, so I typed in the same thing as you, right? Okay. But I kind of, I, I accidentally misspelled something. Uh. I said Jackson and Troy. Her two men. Oh no! I was meant to write "were two men." Yeah. But this is what it generated. Ready? Yep. You ready for this? I'm so glad you're back. I missed you. I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad you're back. I'm so. It just keeps going. I stopped it. I stopped it after about eight sentences. I'm just. I'm so glad you're back. I'm just so glad you're back. Let me try. Let me try this again. I'm gonna try. Were. Oh, those are weird. Were, yeah. Were. <laughs> Oh, uh, you, your um, that one that you just wrote out or read out was is kind of I'm going so along the path of what back. my second one is a bit like. I'm so glad you're back. So do you want me, Jackson, I just do you want to go? Do you want to go now or do you want me I'm to go? So, I'm so glad you're back. Now go. Like okay, that. so this is the second one with the same prompt, right? But it it gets a bit. It there's a oh, it gets a bit romantic and it's I don't like it. Did you at least not put my name in? It? No, I had to put our names in it. Oh, of course you did. But sick, I wish sick. I didn't because you'll hear why. No. So the prompt was: there were two average books called As Jackson and Troy. And the prompt: they were problem. both in the army and they had been to many countries. <laughs> Troy was on leave from Iraq, and Jackson was in Ireland for an AODS, whatever that is. I've seen something. Oh, I've, with yeah, my good, so, with my good eye, mate. The majority of the soldiers were from the UK and had been to Ireland already. They both had amazing hair and were from lots of different walks of life. Troy was better than Jackson, but Jackson was better looking. They came together. Oh, like, they liked the same music. They even wore the same. Now. 
It was reality, but then as soon as it said you were more handsome, I was just like, nah, no, I'm, not I'm, true. I'm, I'm not. I've lost the uh, what's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I've, when you when you're dreamy. engrossed when you're engrossed in something you're in that you're in that world yeah you're a bit dreamy reality snapped back yeah um, they liked the same music they even wore the same clothes except for Jackson's boots Jackson was much boots. more muscular than Troy and he had a smooth face ah, you're, you've lost me again while Troy had a scar on his face do you have a scar on your face Troy is that why you have a beard I mean no not really I mean. No, I don't think I've got scars on my hands all over, but not on my face. Oh no. I just read ahead. They this. met in Dublin and Troy said that he needed someone to help Dublin. him celebrate his freedom. I don't know, freedom for what. They went to a club and they both enjoyed themselves thoroughly. This is where it gets yeah, sketchy. Yeah they did, yeah, this the is... boys are back. Oh no. Boys are back. Okay. Boys are back. Troy is gay. And Troy is gay for Jackson. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad my wife. You know your wife is standing right behind you. She was. <laughs> a million. Was she actually? <laughs> yeah, she. Well, she's not really. I'm I glad went and saw I'm her. not reading this out. I'm... Hey, Courtney. Apparently, I'm gay for Jackson. <laughs> We're gonna have to get a divorce. <laughs> okay. How are you getting? Why are you getting this is, all this good this stuff? This is not finished. How are you getting it's not all this good yet. It's not finished yet. A military How's, relationship. I don't know. A, mi- a military relationship is a cons- a constant testing ground for a man, unless he is very good at comp- compartmentalizing. Don't know what that means. Often, when they meet a partner or a love interest, it will be over the internet, and it will be even more deceitful than it- if they had-, had been seeing him or her in person. After the army, they will be married, perhaps have children, and be completely unaware of the fact that the other one is gay. <laughs> <laughs> The odds of him Wait, did say you're gay as well. <laughs> the odds of him discovering Troy's secret are fairly low. Um, if he doesn't take into account that Troy wears a wig and only has female genitalia. Wait. Wait what? Having said that, um, Troy does oh, at least I have to assume bis- that Jackson is I straight bisexual? until he sees the penis. I'm so- <laughs> start- Can you read that back to me? Roll that back. Okay, I'll, I'll go back to I'll go back before, okay. Go back to when I became a transgender. Uh, so the odds of him a discovering Troy's secret of being gay are fairly low. If he doesn't take into account that Troy wears a wig and only has female genitalia. So I'm gay. I'm a, you're I'm a, f- a trans woman. You're try- you want to be trans, I think, is what's going on here. I'm, I'm so confused. Yeah. Do I have gen- female genitalia? I don't know, but Troy. But having said that, Troy does at least have to assume that Jackson is straight until he sees a penis. Does, hold, on a ch- hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This story is too real. Oh my goodness! How did they know? How did Jackson? How did it know about the JJ? <laughs> In some ways, they have it easy um, as neither have to deal with things, any of the downsides we, that come with being gay. <laughs> An affair is always risky, but they don't have to hide their true sexual identity or anything that they do in the privacy of their own bedrooms. The end. <laughs> Alright, so, okay, go back to the website. Yeah. I want to know what you put in, so setting wise. So, uh, event, sam- event settings, I've got sampling yep. at point 0.9. Uh, sorry, okay, the, sorry point- the nuclear sampling top P, point 0.9. Yeah. And the sampling so temperature sampling at 1. So, nuclear sampling point 0.9. So, give me a second, I'm going to go point 0.9. Oh, so it's at the highest. Or well, not the highest. It's nearly the highest. Yep. And, one, and then sampling is 1. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I see. Give me and I did 1,000 characters. Oh, a thousand. Well, put that back up. I got, I got another seven. Okay, I've put Jackson played Kirby. <laughs> generate. Okay. I'm gonna generate it. All right. Okay. Um, it replaced. Oh, whoops. I see what I've done wrong. Hold on. I'm gonna stop that. Oh, this, this, that was, Jax. that was too good. That one. Like, like when I first, that was the first one I ever did, right? And then I was like, no, this can't be right. And then it just ended up. Being... Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start at the beginning. Okay. Because for some, it said played, and then it moved the played to the side and changed it to play. Oh, you. okay, fair enough. All right, here we go. Jackson played Kirby in the Kirby games back in the day. He he was always <laughs> looked really confused and distant. I think he is pretty lonely and sad, though, because he <laughs> always had this weird thought process that was just really perplexing. <laughs> I remember one game, a young boy named Colonel. <laughs> 
<laughs> sorry, sorry, Cutler. And then, yeah, Cut, Cutler, yeah, Cutler said something to Kirby, and it sounded like he said Kirby really sucks. Kirby is a really shitty Kirby. <laughs> he can't even breathe. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is brilliant. Kirby then yelled, Kirby, Kirby, you suck. <laughs> Literally, it's all he which does. Only, which, which only seemed to piss him off more. <laughs> this may have just been a terrible hack that was working on. Oh, so I'm yeah. guessing that it's meant to be you're playing the game and your, your game's been hacked or something. That's, that's good. That's good. <laughs> he can't even... As I was browsing around Tumblr... <laughs> Tumblr. Which is... A, which, quote, which is, a, oh, not quote, but yeah, which is, oh, yeah. Quotation marks. The narrator, the narrator no, no, a comma, oh, not a comma, comma. A, a bracket. Okay. Bracket, which is a place I've never visited, I never visit. Mm-hmm. True, I don't visit Tumblr. At constantly, for reference, for all my Tumblr rant stuff, <laughs> I saw the age-old Jack Kirby <laughs> must be upset about the success of the new Kirby games. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and just put together the following lol oh gosh jack kirby jack kirby really must really must really sad jack kirby is really lonely he just goes around all day in his garden and looks at his tomatoes his, his own tomato garden nothing to do he just sits there and oh that's what that's so that sounds so accurate to some things what like why did tumblr get involved i don't know i never used tumblr which is actually scarily accurate but like the fact that it's like kirby you suck literally that's all kirby does <laughs> i like the reference I mean, that they use tomato and literally because like the, there's the m tomato which oh, helps tomato give regain health thing. I didn't do that. That was the that yeah, was no, the program. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's very clever. Like it noticed the reference of using a tomato, like because that's yeah, what the M tomato does. It you mean, you mean it? Ju- you mean it got from from the word Kirby? It got games. Yeah. It got Tumblr, and it got tomato. What was the character? Sl- sl- uh, the character name Slater? No, Cutter. Slight. Cutler. Cutler. I'm pretty sure it's not the like the um. That's the dude that throws the blades, isn't it? Or is that Sir Cutler? I don't know. I'll have a quick look. But I, no, I don't, no, he's, no, he's masked something. Okay. Kirby uh, Is it Cutler? Rival. I don't think it's Cutler. It's it's Mecha Knight or Meta Knight. Meta, yeah, Meta Knight's the main dude, but there's a little enemy dude called Cutler. Maybe not. Oh, is there? Oh, maybe. The little sword, he's a, he has a full-on um, knight's helmet. and he. Yeah, that's that's Meta Knight. No, 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 no. Uh, let me just go Kirby. He has a mask. Are you talking about enemy? Uh, let me just have a look here. It might not be Kirby. Here we go. I'm looking at the names. Um, let's see. It starts at C. It doesn't. Okay, so maybe not. Never mind. So what? Um, so describe <gasps> the character. Oh no. Okay. The closest thing I was thinking of was Knuckle Joe. Uh, oh, it's Kibble Blade. Kibble Blade is what I'm thinking of. I think. Ah, uh, okay. Kibble Blade. Yes, Kirby Blade is something enough. Fair enough. Yes. You should you should play the old Kirby game or the uh, the collection. Yeah, I think there might be some on the Nintendo Switch Online. I'll have a check. But I've got one. Oh, it should be. I've got one more story. I've got one more story. Now this is not as crazy as that last one, but it's up there. All right, but before that, I've got a quick story. Okay, go on. Yes. Would you like to know what has happened with technology? Oh. Recently. Okay. Yeah. Within the last couple of days. Sure. Tell me. I'll tell you a little secret yeah. that only I know. Yeah. Microsoft Microsoft has decided yeah. to no longer have yeah. internet explorer. Oh, that's right. And a lot of Japanese people were upset because they didn't know it was going to happen. And then a lot of their systems oh, were really? on Internet Explorer and they were panicking mad last... Yeah, and this is true. Apparently, a lot of Japanese industries and companies weren't aware and prepared and they saved the last second to transfer over to Edge or whatever. So, like, what, really? Yeah, <laughs> there was an article you- about it in Japanese... Well, it says here, Mike's retiring the yeah, consumer ret- version. Yeah, so I think that's the one that they were talking Internet about. Explorer. What I, what confuses me, right, is like these these okay, so these tech giants like you think Microsoft would be a bit smarter. Don't um don't get rid of Internet Explorer and cre- and create Microsoft Edge. Edge right? Yeah, just create Microsoft Edge and repackage it as Internet Explorer. Yeah, yeah. Like just say it's a new say it's get rid of the old Internet Explorer. They should have gotten rid of it ages ago. 
But they, um, yeah. they should have tra- changed the name. Just change the program. Mm. Just change the type of program. Well, that's the... But keep the same name. Well, the thing is, too, because, like, um, when Internet Explorer was around, when it first came out, it was the only browser software we could use. But then, like, the, the rise of Google Chrome, is the Firefox, uh, Opera is the weird gaming one, I think it's called, Opera. Um, Opera is not really a game. No. You can get the op- you can get the Opera gaming one, yeah. but I think they've repackaged themselves. But, but it, it kind of is. I used Opera to um, to basically hack into um, Adventure Quest. Okay. So what you could do is you could set it up because it was a browser based game. You could actually go into the uh, go into the page and edit it so you get a specific enemy, and you could actually change how much gold you got in the game. Yeah. And experience. Because, uh, yeah. And that's what I used Opera for, because it was a lot easier to actually edit the actual... To install a program that would edit the, um, the web page. Mm. Ah, those were the good old so, days. Adventure let's Quest. have a little moment of silence. Not too long, but a little moment of silence for Internet Explorer for all the wonderful things it kind of did for us, I guess. <laughs> you going to play the Anzac song? No, I'm just having a random moment of silence <laughs> for it. No, like put it in an edit. <laughs> I'll do like the sad violin sound. Because <laughs> uh, I remember obviously like back in the day of dial up, you literally had to take the f- cable out of the phone to put it into your laptop or computer. And then the old dial up sound um, will happen. And yeah, it was just those were the uh, days when Intel Explorer was there. We didn't. Um, I, when, I, when I was growing up, we already had uh, the second cable, so basically you just couldn't use the phone at the same time. At the same yeah. time. Yep. Yeah. There was no, we didn't have to disconnect and reconnect. Which yeah. Nice. Oh, cool. Nice. So I'd be in the middle of playing RuneScape or something, and next thing you know, like, what? <laughs> Why is my game cut? And like, Judy's like, I'm using the phone. She's on the phone. <laughs> I'm on the phone. Yeah, but luckily we don't have those days anymore. Luckily we don't have those days anymore. All right. Exactly so right. I'm going to read you this last story that I've generated before we went uh, recording so uh, this time same sorry i had to use the names again but the prompt was different this is going to be the generation episode so this episode prompt was generations. jackson and troy are two good average friends and that's it and then here we go this is where it starts generating oh no here we go <laughs> Jackson is a girl's boy. No, 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 Jackson is a girl's boy and isn't really girly a... boy. Accurate, accurate, girly boy. Yeah. And isn't really able to stand up for himself when Troy comes yep. in and starts barking at all the girls and trying to take their pictures, and he can't <laughs> handle it. <laughs> 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 Troy is just an immature 13-year-old that has been told to look out for Jackson and not really be a huge nuisance to him. But when one... <laughs> but when... <laughs> But when one of the girl that Jackson lo- when one of the girls that Jack that likes Jackson walks into a room, oh, yeah. they are always in oh, together. Yeah. She's immediately the center of attention and can't handle it at all and shoves Troy into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> And it's Troy's job to get Jackson to take care of all the girls for Troy. I'm starting to think you wrote this for yourself. This is no, this is auto generated because you can tell this is auto generated like, because the like, next line. Yeah, I auto generated this. The next line says, "This book is realistic." <laughs> Jackson is the typical guy. He can't be still for anything and loves to be in the middle of things. Scarily true. But when Troy starts barking at the girls, he has to step in. <laughs> this is how the book starts and how most of the book it's is. Just, it's a nice it's read. 30, it's a nice it's read. 30, uh, it's 30, were we brothers or mates in this? What was it at the start? Troy has lots of good lines in this book, and when Jackson is mean, Troy is the one that steps in. It's nice to have a real-life male character, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> were we, were we fr- start again, tell me, were we friends in this? Uh, it's just said Jackson and Troy are two good average friends, and that Jackson's a girl's boy, and isn't that the same when Troy comes in, starts barking at the girls. I, Troy's just, just an immature 13 year old that's been told to look out for Jackson and not be a huge nuisance. But when I'm one just the- imagining like you walk into a room and this girl goes, Hey Jackson, you just see me come running in. <laughs> 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 It's just, just like what the heck? You can imagine like like how many stupid like sitcom uh, TV shows you could write using this program. Like you know, yeah, it was just the, the little opening, prompt. It would be the Jackson and Troy show, and the opening would be "Who let the dogs out?" 
I want to, I want to, I want to do one together, right? I've got, I've got a few more weekly free characters here to use. Um, oh. I'm going to use a thousand because I want to use them up because I'm not going to use this program again for a little while, I dare think. <clears throat> so I want to. Nah, let's... go, go bald. Go. Oh, you can only use a thousand. Yeah, well, well that's fine. I got a thousand left to use anyway. So. Uh, you tell me what I type and I'll put it in. Um. Hmm. Because you type it as well. You type it as well. We'll see what we'll get. Okay, so I write something. How about we do this, right? I write something about you, no, no. and then you write no, something no, write... as the prompt. No, no, we write the same thing. And see oh, okay. All right then. Okay, uh, we've got to think of what's a good prompt though. What's um? Oh, should, we should do something like Rocket League related, like. Right. Uh, what what's your prompt gonna be? Jackson always. Yep. Always cuts in front of me at Rocket League. Ways. St- <laughs> Eels. Troy's saves in. So what are we saying? Rockets. Jackson always steals. Always except. Always yep, steals. Gonna, always steals. Troy's. Saves in Rocket. Saves in Rocket League. Yep. Is yeah, I spelled it right. Yep. In Rocket League. Um. Anything else? But that. But that's okay. Okay. But but that's okay. Because. But that's. Because. <laughs> that's okay. Because. Because Troy because always Troy, has the oops. highest score. Always has. This is okay. I see what's going on here. Comma, and he can. And he can. Uh-huh. What can he do? Flip reset. <laughs> oh, exit. Flip reset. Cool. Good for you. I we, can't. We got. No, no. I just put that in so we can get more. What is wrong with? Okay, this so I've I've wrote the same thing as you. I think Jackson always steals Troy's saves in Rock League, but that's okay because Troy always has higher score. And he can flip reset. Do we need to get rid of the flip reset part? Oh, that's so annoying. We're going to have to go with yours for some reason. Like Chrome um, acted up. I'm using Chrome as well, but it's okay. That's all good. No, but my Chrome, I don't know what happened. Maybe it's because I'm recording the screen, but it just kind of... Oh, okay. It. So, yeah, so I've we'll got, just go with yours. I've got Jackson always steals Troy saves in Rock League, but that's okay because Troy always has a higher score and he can flip reset. Generating text. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> oh, I did the same thing. Okay, why are you going there? Why? Is, no, no, stop. <laughs> Technology. It um it it it, it decided works. to go mid sentence. Oh, let me try again. Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. Uh oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Jackson always steals Troy's saves in Rock League, but that's okay because Troy always has the highest score and he can flip his set. Without out of the like so- with- <laughs> sounds like something a t- a, years, a grade six a six, year, a six grade six would write. <laughs> What did you write? What did you write? What did you do this week? You got to write a journal in like primary school, and it's like, <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no, no. I'm not like reacting to you. I'm reacting to what the heck this thing just did. Okay. What did it do? With that out of the way, I'm ready to roll, or maybe just throw. If you're not doing this matchup, it's a wonderful time because of the different maps and your vehicle's abilities, with a smorgasbord of options. If you're a competitive <laughs> player, like a, then it's I'm. It's like sh- a game. Ref- it's I, like a game review for the game, and it hasn't of someone who hasn't played it. Yo, you would get okay. You, you okay? Keep that in mind. Um, if, will, if you're a competitive exactly player, then I'm sure you're not reading this, so don't worry about that. You'll win. You can't. You can just hold off. But if you don't you do win. it, you're not an advocate of Rocket League. You should probably still play at least one. That one will make your heart smile. Rocket League on a tender switch on IGN, 9 out of 10. Smooth is the new fast. <laughs> Kat Bailey is an editor of IGN. You can follow her on Twitter. 10 out of 10. Chris Carter is the executive. It's just, it just, it just, it just, it just went into full-on adver- ad- advertisement. Well, that's pretty much that sums up technology. Chris Carter is the executive that's, editor that's... of IGN PlayStation. You can follow him on Twitter and IGN, and then just how he's this... just how sad the life of New York Islanders and New York Jets fans can be. I don't want to. How did I get from Rocket League to like this person learns about how sad people are about New York Islanders and New York Jets can be? Wait, New York Jets. Rocket League is coming to the Nintendo Switch soon, and a bunch of YouTubers have gone together to play the game on the platform. It's a compilation of some of the best. <laughs> yeah, this thing is like, hmm, Rocket League, Rocket League. I Makes know, ads for Rocket That's League. That's me crying on the inside. Oh, well, they know their demographic. <laughs> <sighs> but anyway. Alright, now we type AI. It sucks. In and see what comes up. <laughs> well, I've already, got, Generate. I've already got 120 characters left. AI had already disrupted auto manufacturing, healthcare, financial Sorry. services, and more. <laughs> now. Now it has arrived at Wall Street too. When Google first began hiring talent, 
in the AI field in 2012. That, that was 200, let's go with 1,000. Most of the engineers were hired, it hired were themselves inspired by deep <coughs> familiarity with and deep learning models that form the core of the Google brain project. I'm gonna type AI is called Jackson. AI is what? <laughs> called Jackson. No, search, search Tay. Search AI is Tay. This thing just took a turn straight away. It took a turn? Yeah. For the word. So, um, <clears throat> AI turn. is cool as Jackson's daughter, but the fact that she's a robot is, well, unnerving. That's something you don't see every day. One night, the that's demons right. once again get into. <laughs> once in the, I, one... knew you, I knew. That's I knew. I knew your kid was a robot. The way she looks at me. <coughs> that's something you don't Very see every robotic. day. One night, the demons once again get to me, and my wife and daughter sleep on the living the room demons. floor. Demons come, Jackson. We've come for you. Anyway, Darth Vader was just here for a second. I go to work where I continue to that stare at the computer for eight hours without actually goodness. typing anything. It's the exact it same. Like it's the exact same every day. I type the basic information, run a few programs, and type a simple message that says, "Ends up we didn't get it. what? Ends up we didn't get any inventory. Did you guys get any? I don't remember you guys ever needing anything before. Hmm. After I send that message, I go back to staring at the screen. I don't think my coworkers realize what I'm doing. Neither do I, to be honest. When I go home, there's usually another message waiting for me, and so it goes. Sometimes I actually get up and go. All right, GG's boys. It's been an hour. Let's head off. <laughs> it's been 57 minutes, but yeah, I suppose we could uh, uh, I've been wrap up I've there. been recording for an hour. Yeah, that's fair. So, um, yeah, we learned a lot today. We learned that um, AI is good and bad and dumb and smart. Robot I don't vac- think we learned anything. Robot. I think we just dri- dribbled on. Robot vacuums. <laughs> dribbled on. Uh, little babies. And AI narrative story creators I are learnt- funny. I learned your kids a robot. Yeah, apparently my kids are robot. But you learn something and I figured out, And I figured out something about myself. I'm getting old. Yeah, that's fair. Understandable. This, this damn technology ain't got no No, Troy, fear. but didn't you hear, according, according, to the story, according to the story, you're in your early 20s. What are these NFTs? What's an NFT? But you, is it some sort of Is it neutral fuel league? But you're in your early 20s. What does, yeah, but I still feel old. <laughs> That's what That's, the story said anyway. If you start saying you're old early, no, no, according to the story, I'm 13 and I'm, and I'm, and I bark at the girls. <laughs> you're an immature 13 year old. I'm, I'm, I'm also, I'm also gay, but I'm, I'm gay, I'm gay for you. You wear a wig, you wear a, a wig. But I have a vagina. You wear a wig and you have female... Female gel- gel- does that mean does that mean you're also a chick as well because if i'm gay for you you must no, also no. have female wait a minute jackson's only no, sh- jackson's true. only straight until he sees a penis <laughs> <laughs> Look, sorry i just so so you're gay every time you have a shower <laughs> for myself <laughs> i guess <laughs> yeah well you look in the you look in the mirror damn damn boy <laughs> Damn. I, hope, I hope people are still. I, I, I hope people are still watching and listening to this very moment I because do, this is I, what I, I, I do. Me, damn. I'm mighty damn. fine. I you do gotta, me. You gotta do the hit me up. Damn boy. <laughs> damn. He thick boy. No. He thick boy. <laughs> That's probably really loud. If you guys are still watching and listening, thank you. I'm so glad you're up to this point. But yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I just oh. like every time I every time I yell, I look at the audio spike and I just go, "That's going to sound That's, really crappy." With no, this. or something's like, oh, it's like, oh, something funny was said then, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, Alright, um, thank you guys for watching or listening I uh, appreciate you guys being here um, I don't, I don't appreciate we, you at all No, it's understandable Because the, the only people who watch any of this If they even get this far on my channel Are like three of my friends Well, I will say my last one got like 15 views and 2 likes So Yeah, but did you check to see how long they actually listened? I'm not really fussed, to be honest You can, you really can say fussed. whatever you want right now None of, none of your fans will hear They won't get this if, you, if you're listening, if you got to this far Use the hashtag Average Blokes AI On Twitter or my Discord Or in if, the comments if below you got, If you got this far, put in a comment saying I got this far, suck it bro <laughs> Or use the hashtag Kirby sucks. <laughs> no, no, use the hashtag. Use the hashtag. Barked at the girls. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, in high school, that was that would actually describe my behaviour a little bit. I did bark at the girls. Or, or the last optional one: use hashtag Jackson's a girly boy. <laughs> Jackson, I'm just gonna say that. Just gonna that. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you much, guys, for watching or listening, right. and we'll see you all next time. GG. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. GGs. Good game. Good game. All right. I gotta turn off my audio.